Hello, my name is Clay. I'm here to sh tell you a little short story about how it spent a long time building this, but I think I got it right. Um, this is a three quarter inch pipe burner for a grill. I built a U shaped one with two necks coming off of a single input air mixer venturi. Well, that was about a hundred dollar part from Tejas Smokers, T E J A S in Texas. Tejas Smokers uh, went on their online site and was able to get that, which hooks up to a standard 3 8 hose, then hooks up to a 20 gallon tank. Now, I got a kind of a fancy little 30 psi adjustable regulator, but I'm only running in about six seven psi to run this properly. I have it clamped to the shelf of the grill that I built. And once again, this is three quarter ID pipe. I drilled two rows per pipe. Both rows are 90 degrees of each other. And then you turn it to be 45 facing upright. I'm going to build heat shields for these here soon. I put caps on the end, did not weld or crimp the ends. I want to be able to ex ex access those holes in the inside of the pipe from that side. And I used a yellow high grade, high temp putty instead of tape. The only area I used tape was on here and it's already buried inside the Venturi. As for that joint and the others, I used putty and then cleaned up the putty as much as I could. It's a yellow putty rated for gas and said it can go up to 500 degrees. If it ends up cooking, it cooks. Oh well. I'm going to let the thing burn pretty hot one, uh, one day before throwing it in this bastard. Still got to throw on some uh, rods here and here going up about two inches. And then a piece of angle that goes down the top of each one. Which will be a heat shield, a drip shield. And now for the test to show you the goods. Thing's doing fine. I'm running at 7 PSI. I did drill the inside of the orifice. I think it was like a number 45. And I drilled it up to about a 60, which is uh, gauge wire 60. I, w I don't know what that would be mathematically, but it was a really small ass bit. I had to give it a little bit more gas per air ratio. And my air is almost closed all the way. Just to give you a sight here. So that's all the way open. When I dial it back, I can get down to a creeping low for low cook. That can go pretty low before it wants to go out. Yeah, I've got it right where I need it for cooking meat. Don't really want much more volume than that. Holes I drilled to a 332. I learned that the hard way when I tried a 16th. The 16th was not enough. So I drilled them bigger to a 332 and the orifice on here I actually took out of that brass piece and drilled it to a number 60 wire gauge drill. You can get usually kits of what they call wire gauge drill bits uh, on Amazon or at your local box store like Home Depot or Menards. It's just uh, and the pipe was probably the cheapest part. Uh, both rods are 30 inch length. I got them both pre-threaded at Home Depot. I'm probably uh, in total with the hose and the pipe parts and the putty and the drill bits spent easily less than 50 bucks. And I've got a burner, double neck burner that'll last me a hell of a lot longer than any kit I can buy for some professional grill and more, much more heavy duty.